showing you guys how I got this look. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I had a lot of trial and error just because like this is my first time doing this look. I just kind of looked at a picture and was like, I'm gonna do it. I didn't practice it beforehand, so, and I'm not like a makeup artist, so. But anyways, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say, and let's get started with this video. Okay, so to start off this makeup look, I already have my eyebrows done just because I hate doing my eyebrows on camera and with the lighting. But anyways, first I use a Clinique moisturizer and I put that underneath my eyes just because that's where my face mostly gets dry. <laughs> And then I use the Benefit Pore Professional Primer and just apply that where I'm going to apply concealer. And then I'm also going to put my hair back because this makeup look is going to be a little bit messy. So I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and just apply it normally on my face like I would whenever I do my normal makeup. And then I use my MAC Studio Fix powder and just apply that all over my face. To cover up any more imperfections, I'm just going to be using the MAC Studio Finish Concealer and applying that where extra coverage is needed. And then I'm going to set it with some powder on a setting brush. To make sure that my makeup stays intact, I'm going to be using the NYX setting spray. I almost forgot this step, but I'm going to be using the e.l.f. eyelid primer and applying that to my eyelids. Next, I'm going to be taking my Morphe 35F palette and I'm going to be using this shade right here. They don't have names, so I'm just going to refer them to this shade. But I'm applying that on my outer crease and I'm bringing it in. To intensify the look, I'm grabbing a darker tan shade and I'm bringing that again to the outer crease and bringing it in. And then I'm grabbing another brush and using the same shade, but then I ended up just switching it to a brow brush. This is just to create the wing on the side. I found it easier using an angle brush just because it helps guide the wing that I'm trying to do. But anyways, I'm just going to smudge it underneath my eye and then bring it out trying to create a wing. <laughs> And then I'm going to be taking the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk, whoever remembers this trick. And this is kind of like a primer and it really helps make the color pop, so I'm applying that just to my eyelid. Then I'm taking a white shimmery shade and applying that with my finger to my eyelid. Then I'm taking the jumbo pencil again and I'm just putting it underneath my eye. This will just help the shade I'm going to put here show up more. And I'm also going to be bringing it out to the wing but not cover the wing completely. It's just kind of like a smaller wing. And then I'm just cleaning up any mistakes that I made with the same tan eyeshadow. <laughs> I feel like I linger, linger between the words. Then I have these two shimmery shades, and honestly, the Spirit Halloween one I just used on my eyelid. And the Wet n Wild spiked glitter, I put it underneath my eye and then brought it out to my wing because it just looked better. I used this small detailer brush to put the glitter on just because it helped it stay more and it was easier than doing it with my finger. And then for the White Spirit Halloween shade, I put that on with my finger because it, that worked better with my finger. I don't know why they're different, but they are. Also, I'm an idiot, and that's why you didn't see me apply the Spirit Halloween shade because I covered it with the mirror. 
Next, I'm going to curl my eyelashes to prepare them to put on the falsies. And then I'm going to be taking some Ardell Duo Glue and applying it to some Ardell Demi Wispies. These are the lashes I use every single day. And no, I don't use tweezers, but I do need to go up close to a mirror to see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to curl the lashes to blend them in with my normal eyelashes. Next, I'm taking the L'Oreal Infallible Smudge Tick Eyeliner in black. And I'm just going to tightline and waterline my eyes. Then, because I did get some glitter on my bottom lashes, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara and just applying it to my bottom lashes. This just helps clean them up. We still got a few more days. Taking the Tarte Blush and Bliss Form, applying it to the apples of the cheeks and blending it out. Now we're here to take control. Open your body and open your soul. We're gonna take back everything and lose it all. Because I want a really natural glowy look, I'm going to be using the Becca Liquid Highlighter in Opal. Before applying a liquid lipstick, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Baby Lips in Quenched. And then I'm taking the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick, and I don't know what shade it's in, but I'm just applying that to my lips. To ensure that my makeup lasts all night, I'm going to be using the Japanese Setting Spray, and I love this setting spray. It lasts all day, just take my word for it. Now to finish off this look, I'm just going to be curling my hair. So normally what I do is I part my hair to the side, and to give it some volume, I'll just tease it. And I don't really know how to tease my hair, which I guess you can tell, but I try. Why do I feel like Then I'm going to split my hair into two sections and take smaller sections and just curl them with my newbie curling wand. This is the biggest barrel, I think. But this is just how I curl my hair, if you guys were wondering. And that's it for my voiceover. I'll see you guys at the end of the video. my video don't forget to subscribe and then tell me what video ideas you guys want to see i always ask but like none of you guys ever really tell me so if you guys could tell me that'd be nice anyways thank you so much for watching this video and i hope to see you guys soon bye everyone